I'm standing right in front of the Park Avenue Armory Building. Today is the highly anticipated art event, the opening of TIFAF, International Fine Art Fair. It's been three years since the last show in 2019. I'm so looking forward to seeing what they have inside. Here we are inside. TIFAF, which stands for the European Fine Art Foundation, started in 1988 in Maastricht, the Netherlands. And here's a bit of Holland in the armory. The dark interior is lightened up by tulips throughout the exhibition, a fine touch by Tom Pasma Design. Tifaf is one of the most prestigious art fairs, known for its strict vetting process, high emphasis on the provenance of artworks and galleries' reputations. 91 galleries from 14 countries are presented in this edition. The fair occupies period rooms on first and second floors and the former drill hall. The 55,000 square foot Wade Thompson drill hall is the largest unobstructed space in the city. And have I mentioned that it's very expensive to participate here. While we walk around, here's a bit of history. The fortress-like building opened in 1881 as the home of the 7th Regiment, also known as the Silk Stocking Regiment of the Volunteer Militia. It mainly consisted of the wealthy social elite of the city, families like the Vanderbilts, Roosevelts, Rensselaers. It was part social club, part military arsenal. The crown jewel of the armory is the Veterans Room, designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany with consulting architect Stanford White, two of the finest names in design and architecture of the Gilded Age. Today is the preview day by invitation only for collectors, museum curators, philanthropists, and other VIPs. Here is Alan Faina, says hello. I have never met him before. I see David Warner, one of the exhibitors, the owner of his eponymous gallery downtown, Jeff Poe of Bloom and Poe, a gallery from LA, Champagne and hors d'oeuvres, gratis for the guests. Fresh oysters, served by master shockers, wearing metal mesh gloves. How nice is that? Would you like an oyster, ma'am? Oh yes, please. I would love an oyster. Tifat is one of my favorite shows. Now you see why. This is Rick from Red Oyster Company. <laughs> and that's what we call service. I'm sipping and nibbling too for as long as I can get away with it. I always feel like an interloper. And look like one too. The opening night is a benefit for the Society of Memorial Sloan Kettering. It's one of the most important private charities in the city, which provides funds for cancer patient care, research and education programs. The main sponsor of TIFAP is Bank of America. So now there are lots of VVIPs here. And I'm just trying not to step on anyone's toes, like right now. When the PR people have asked me to move my camera out of the Sloan Catering Step and Repeat event, as I was trying to interview a prominent gonna, New York socialite. So we moved the safe distance into a tight no. corner. Apologies for the lighting. But here is always gracious Elena Kennedy, a philanthropist. Well, um, I'm on the board of Memorial Sloan Kettering, and we're in partnership with the 
TFAF, and it's been a marvelous partnership. And what we do is we choose the finest of the finest for this, and everyone's vetted. It's an extraordinary amount. And this is my personal favorite, <laughs> Hammerly, which I love. And uh, well, we do, we care about patient care, and when we're still catering, the profits from tonight's event will all go for patient care. That's what we care most about. We, we as a board don't cure the cancer, but we take very good care of the patients and their families. And, um, and this is a great honor for us to be joining with TFOF because it's the most prestigious fair in the world. And Hemerly, we're here seeing the most extraordinary jewels. So it's a win-win. <laughs> The opening is usually very busy. I'll be tuned by the closing to speak with the galleries I know and hopefully to meet new ones. See you on Sunday.